the gig economy could actually self sustain if like I've got a buddy named Ryan McNally. He's a finger picking blues guy, wonderful guy. I've, I've been on the road with him uh, many years back and he was offering lessons. Right. And finger picking uh, you know blues lessons and I and I went, "You know what? I'll throw you some bucks and I'll take this lesson off you." Yeah. And then and because why not? Um, yeah, and I've seen that. I noticed my buddy Tony D um, posted something on social media the other day that he's, he's offering lessons because, yeah, he's stuck at home. He, he's not like me. He actually likes playing the guitar all the time. <laughs> I get home. I like looking at guitars and thinking about playing. I don't really play that much when I'm at home. But Tony, I know Tony likes to play, so he's, he's, he's doing that online. So Yeah, it's a fantastic time. Vocal lessons. I could be giving vocal lessons in the next, you know, five days. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, there's all sorts of things. And it's, a, it's an incredible time for us to be able to learn each other's, um, uh, you know, uh, instruments. And it's a great time. Like, I, people don't know when I'm off the road. I play piano. I've got two pianos in my house. Yeah. I've got two and a half drum kits. Mm-hmm. I don't blow harp unless I'm on stage. So, yeah. you know, I could be, maybe I'll take drum lessons from my buddy in New York. Right. And maybe I throw him some bucks and maybe he throws bucks, you know, and, and, and these are small sort of trickling ways, but, uh, you know. Every little bit helps at this point, yeah. It's a great time for an education. Yeah. And like I mentioned, I mean, we've, we've you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing a project coming up. Um, we're hopefully going to get together and record uh, in June with a, a friend of both both of ours. I'm not going to talk about it yet. Yeah. But, but you know, I, I'm going to need some songs. So, you know, heck. Just gonna stay at home. Like I said, I do have those guitars that I stare at. Yeah. So I might actually take them off the wall and, and come up some some more tunes. So you know, there's always things we can do for sure. But um, yeah, um, I guess just to kind of wrap up, I'd like to thank all the folks that are supporting musicians and thinking about us. And um, shout out to all the healthcare workers and all the emergency workers and all these people that um, are so essential and they still have to go out and do it. I'm sure they're overworked right now. Um, and uh, so what else, what's, how do people get in touch with you or follow you on social media? What, what's your jam? How do people get in touch with me at this particular point? Just, um, uh, you know, email is great, but, uh, no, forget email. <laughs> they, the harpoonist, uh, on Instagram is, that's my, yeah. that's my handle. And that's, you know, that or Facebook, Sean Hall is pretty, I'm pretty easy to reach. I think a lot of people are, um, a lot more open than they've ever been, Mm-hmm. Um, to you know uh, suggestions and ideas and and I think if we don't learn and we don't you know take a good chunk of each day to to be completely wide open to examining innovation and in, in in our own skills and traits and and opening our hearts then we're uh, we're not we're not actually here for what's going on and I think I'm starting to tune myself into a variety of of different ways that I can be creative. Right. And um, yeah, reach me at the, the Harpoonist at, on Instagram. 